Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and HomePod was promised a feature that we've been waiting for for quite some time. And while this feature may not matter to everyone, HomePod has finally gained sound recognition support, which is something Apple talked about back in January when the new HomePod was announced. Now Apple turned this feature on remotely and it doesn't require a separate update unless you're on an older version of iOS software. The new feature allows you to recognize sounds similar to iPhone and then alert you on your iPhone, Mac, or Apple Watch. And it will hear things such as a smoke detector or carbon monoxide detector and then notify you on your device that those things have been activated. So I wanted to show you how to set this up what it's like, go through some of the options, and talk about what you need in order to do that. Now the first thing is you'll need a supported HomePod, the new second generation HomePod or the HomePod Mini. Either one of those have this option. Also, you'll need to be on iOS 16.4 or later because you'll need the new home architecture update. Once you've updated your devices with that home architecture update, you'll be able to actually see this feature and use it. Now to access the sound recognition feature, all you need to do is go into your home app and typically it will just show up on the screen. Now if it doesn't, I'll show you how to get into that later, but let's go ahead and set this up. We'll tap continue and you'll see it says safety and security. HomePod can send you notifications when it recognizes smoke or carbon monoxide alarm sounds and allow home members to check it wherever they are. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. We'll give it just a moment to activate and we'll see what it does here. So I turned it on, we'll tap continue, and it may take a couple chances to do this. It could be a little off, there we go. It should be activated, and this is my camera, it's on but tilted down just for this video, and now it's turned on. It should recognize that, but we have some options as well. If we tap on the three dots in the upper right, go to our home settings. Now within the menu, if you scroll down, you'll see all of your different home devices. So I have cameras and doorbells, you'll see home hubs and bridges, intercom, locks, and a new category, safety and security, and then speakers and TV. If we go into safety and security, here we can enable or disable sound recognition. We also have some notification settings and then also the ability to check in. You'll see currently there's three people and that's because they have administrative rights to some of the devices in my home. So myself, one of my daughters and my wife. So you can enable those as, or disable those as needed and let's go into notifications. Within notifications, you can see the different home pods in the home. And yes, I have quite a few, but we use them for music and intercoms and more. And as you can see here, they're all turned on by default. We can disable these if we don't want them to have listening privileges for alerts or sound recognition overall. So if we go into one of them, we have a couple options. So not only can we receive notifications, we can adjust the time of day or whether or not they're detecting people. So you'll see here people we have when somebody is home, when I am home, when nobody is home, when I am not home. So you could have this not recognize the sound if you're home. Also, the time is adjustable based on during the day, at night, or specific times. So we'll turn off a bunch of these here so we can see if we test this out. I'll see if I can get this to trigger, but I'm not going to set off the alarm as it's late at night and I'll wake everyone up. So let me turn these off and we'll see if we can get it to notify us. I was able to trigger the sound recognition using a sound that sounded like a smoke detector and the new HomePod detected it. You can see what it looks like here. It popped up a notification on my phone, even though it's in Do Not Disturb, and it says critical. Home and alarm sound was detected by home office HomePod. Check in now. Then on my iPhone, when I tapped on the notification, it popped open this option where it actually says alarm sound detected and was trying to connect directly to the HomePod and also any nearby cameras that I have set up. Additionally, I could check in. And this is still active within the Home app. You can see it says alarm sound detected and then we can check in. It tells me when it is if we tap check in. It opens on All my home pod. Checking in. Double tap the top of this home pod at any time to hang up. We'll double tap. And then it says check in ended. So it makes sure that the person near the home pod is okay. You double tap it. They've checked in and you're good to go. So it's a really nice thing to have if you don't have smoke detectors or carbon monoxide detectors that are built into the home app. So I just wanted to show you how that works. Of course it can use the camera. I have that tilted down just so we can't see like I said, but otherwise it's a great little feature to have. 
to notify you, and maybe you don't hear the smoke detectors going off, this is just another measure to notify you. So I think it's a great option. So if you have a HomePod, the second generation, or HomePod Mini, this should work for you. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below, and of course I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.